So in today's video, we are going to be talking about the brand new 1.12 update dropping on Tuesday. Brand new free camos, new game modes, and a lot more information. So drop a like if you guys are excited and let's jump right into it. Get in my way and try to block me, I'ma show aggression. Right now in the Blackjack shop, we have the Vampire Hunter Mastercraft bundle. We also have the Cap 45 with the Barbarian special event, and we have the Cypher special order. So if you guys need some COD points, remember to drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel. Let me know in the comment section what console you guys are playing on. Yo, what is going on YouTube? My name is Richard Right Away. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are all doing well. So in today's video, we are going to be talking about the brand new Black Ops 4 update that is going to be dropping this Tuesday. Now, Treyarch has came out and said a lot of information regarding the 1.12 update on Tuesday. They kind of talked about all the new content coming, all the new, you know, nerfs and buffs and weapon changes and all the new sort of game modes and just information regarding the new update that will be dropping on Tuesday. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And with all that being said, let's jump right into it. So of course, guys, I am a multiplayer channel. So I want to go over all the multiplayer, you know, sort of information first. So you guys know exactly what's happening with multiplayer. So it says right here, Treyarch Dev confirms weapon balancing pass for Black Black Ops 4 multiplayer is in the works. Treyarch's lead designer, Tony Flame, has confirmed on Twitter that the team is in fact working a balancing pass for Call of Duty Black Ops 4 multiplayer, but there's no date set yet for when the balancing updates uh, will be coming available. So it's really crazy, but the last time we saw like, you know, weapon nerfs and weapon buffs or weapon tuning updates for multiplayer was I think about in November. Like we haven't seen anything, you know, new for multiplayer regarding weapon balancing and weapon tunings for a really, really long time. And as you guys know, right now in Black Ops 4, there is pretty much a crazy sort of thing going on where everyone is using Spitfires or everyone is using the Titan LMG. So a lot of people want those two weapons nerfed. And a lot of people are also getting tired of specialists. You know, there are a lot of crazy specialists right now in Black Ops 4 that kind of make the game, I don't know, unfair or just frustrating. So a lot of people want changes, you know, regarding multiplayer, you know, weapon buffs and nerfs and, you know, attachment changes and weapon changes and specialist changes as well. So Treyarch is hard at work right now, coming up with a balancing sort of pass and there's no set day yet on when this is going to drop it could drop on tuesday we're just gonna have to wait and see but i kind of wanted to just tell you guys yes uh Treyarch is planning on changing a lot of the weapons and making sort of a balancing pass and uh, a lot of changes are going to be coming very very soon also guys blackjack's gun game in multiplayer is going to be coming out on tuesday so it says blackjack is back with an update selection for this special take on gun game now featuring the cat 45 full auto pistol in the mix you know the deal survive an all-out free-for-all with different weapon awarded uh, for each kill and a demotion for death by melee be the first to get through the full arsenal before everyone else to secure the win so on tuesday blackjack's gun game will be a featured playlist and now the cap 45 is going to be thrown within the mix i'm sure we'll see the swat rft we'll see the damon submachine gun a couple of other melee weapons as well so blackjack gun game is returning if you guys don't have your hands on the cap 45 yet this is a great game mode to kind of test out and try the cap 45 before you unlock it with the new barbarian special event going on in the contraband system next up guys we are going to be moving towards blackout here and it says tuning for armor concussions and cluster grenades in blackout we'll be implementing a new round of tuning changes to blackout with this update including reduced damage protection for multiplayer across the board levels one through three level three armor will no longer include additional damage protection against explosive and melee attacks uh, increased armor play requirements to repair level three armor reduce status effect duration area of effect radius and and throw distance of the concussion grenades more options to outplay attackers when hit by concussion grenades increased time to detonate for cluster grenades and damage reduction for mini cluster grenade explosions so those are all the new changes coming to blackout with tuesday's update the 1.12 update there is a lot going on guys level 3 armor will no longer include additional damage protection against explosives and melee attacks it also increased the armor plate requirements to repair level 3 and then also the concussion grenades as well as the cluster grenades are receiving a nerf so i feel like blackout is going to be a lot better because these are all problems that we've been encountering if you guys play a lot of blackout i myself i play a lot of blackout and these are all sort of issues that are currently going on you know in the game and now they're kind of changing it and you know adjusting all of these things which i'm super excited about so a very very big change is coming to blackout can't wait to see how this is going to be playing out and i'm just really excited to play the game with all these new changes having to do with armor uh you know concussions clusters uh, armor plate
plates, everything like that. Now, something that I actually made a video on on my channel, I think a little bit ago, uh, but this is coming on Tuesday and we have camo progression in Blackout, Mastercraft reactive camos and Black Market camo support in Zombies and Mastery camos in Blackout in Zombies. So yes, guys, Mastery camos are going to be coming out in Blackout and in Zombies on Tuesday with the 1.12 update. They confirmed that Blackout is getting its own camo progression system for players to earn new camos for that specific mode to roll out after the update 1.12 goes live, which is set to roll out on January 29th. The camo system will be different than that of the multiplayer system, and the initial progression system will starting with the upcoming update with the full rollout of the feature uh, to follow shortly after the update goes live. Now, this is exactly what Treyarch sort of had to say about all this. These features work a bit differently compared to the current camo system in multiplayer and we'll be putting the finishing touches on them shortly after releasing the updates listed above. Support for Mastercrafts, reactive camos, and black market camos in zombies is also planned to go live in this time frame. So yes guys, I've talked about this before on my channel, but mastery camos are coming out for blackout and zombies. Now if you guys don't know what mastery camos are, basically in multiplayer, if you guys play multiplayer, there is a section for mastery camos and the mastery camos for a multiplayer are gold, diamond, and dark matter so so blackout and zombies those two game modes are getting mastery camos there's going to be a set of challenges that you have to do to complete and you guys will be getting more camos for those specific game modes so i'm really curious to see what the mastery camos are going to be looking like but i think this is a great idea it adds a value of just kind of replayability and there's gonna be more challenges more free camos to unlock for those two game modes and i think this is definitely a great idea as of right now zombies has you know a sort of camo progression system where you have to get certain amount of kills for certain weapons and do a set of challenges in zombies to unlock more camos but blackout never had a camo progression system we were just able to sort of have camos on for multiplayer and put them in you know blackout but now blackout is going to have a full camo progression system and there's also going to be mastery camos for zombies and blackout so i'm super excited to unlock more camos do a lot more challenges for blackout and zombies i definitely want to do a lot of videos unlocking the mastery camos so let me know in the comment section if you guys are excited for this it just adds more content into the game and i think this is definitely a step in the right direction with how black ops has kind of been handling their updates but i definitely think this is a very very good sign for all the blackout players and all the zombie players but free camos are on the way which is absolutely amazing now another thing that people are very very excited to see is of course league play now league play was set to be coming out for black ops 4 at the end of january with this update the 1.12 update on january 29th but there is now it what it seems to be a delay there seems to be a delay with league play and there was sort of an update that Treyarch came out and said so this is what they said we'll have more news to share next week about the upcoming rollout of league play and the world league hub we've made some fundamental changes to black ops 4's rank system since we first announced our plans as well as numerous important updates to the cwl rule set that will change how the game is played competitively for the better stay tuned for more intel soon so it seems like on tuesday we're just going to be getting more information about league play but not the actual system itself and this is something that the community has been wanting for a very long time uh Treyarch first said that league play was going to be coming out for black ops 4 uh, in december then it was delayed to the end of january and now we're at the end of january and Treyarch is coming out now and saying hey we have to make more changes we have to make more you know news and updates for league play before we roll it out so we're gonna have more information on tuesday but not actually release the game mode so from the looks of everything it doesn't seem like league play is coming on tuesday with the update now i think league play was delayed which is super unfortunate and i don't think the community is going to be very happy with this because the, the community right now is kind of going crazy for league play it's like everyone wants it right now and Treyarch just keeps delaying it so we're gonna have more news and intel and information regarding league play on tuesday with the 1.12 update fingers crossed it drops on tuesday but if not hopefully it drops very very early in february and one last thing that's going to be dropping in the black out mode we're going to be having a brand new limited time mode called ambush now this is going to be a sniper rifles melee and launchers only game mode which is going to be pretty insane sniper rifles and just melees that's gonna be pretty wild so i can't wait to see how ambush plays out but yeah that will be a ltm in blackout coming on tuesday so overall guys that is everything you need to know about the 1.12 update dropping on tuesday of course we could definitely see some cool things within the item shop because the item shop is going to be refreshing we're just coming off the vampire hunt as well as the cat 45 sort of update so i'm not sure how many new content or new camos or mastercrafts we might receive on tuesday hopefully fingers crossed we do 
do see maybe like a new camo or a new sort of variant uh, with the item shop or the special orders, but who knows, man. But thank you guys all so much for watching. Look out for Tuesday, January 29th for the 1.12 update. Of course, I'll have a video explaining everything when it does drop, but thank you guys all so much for watching. Drop a like if you guys enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are brand new, and I will see you guys next time.